Alright, it's alright everyone. It's the man, the myth, the legend, the Minecrafter named Luigi, Jedi Master Luigi, or simply known as Adam. Back again with another video. So, uh, I accidentally, um, somehow the video file, I recorded this video again. This is the second time I'm recording this video. I recorded this video before, but, um, somehow the file got corrupted so now I have to record this video again anyway this video is about is the Xbox design lap controller worth it so let's get this started so here you got the regular Xbox one controller the controller has been a standard for a, for a few years now you know, the one that comes with the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X. Um, and here you got the Xbox Design Lab controller. It's based on, um, it's based on the, um, uh, um, you know, the Xbox, the Xbox Series S and X controllers. Um, with the X regular Xbox One controller, you got the this D-pad, which doesn't really, it's not that great. Got these colors, Xbox ABX, ABX, ABX Y buttons. You only got these two buttons right here. Um, and you got the plastic triggers, which compared to the new ones, don't really feel that great to use. These triggers them over here are just pure plastic. But on the um, the new controllers, you've got this funky D-pad, which is so nice to use. You got you can you have the option of you using the A, B, X, Y buttons that look like they're from the 360 controllers. Um, you got this button right here, which is used to share photos. I don't think it can do videos, as far as I know, but, um, you got the trigger texture, which I don't think they're, um, I don't think you can see them on the camera, at least not mine, because it's very blurry, but, um, they're very textured. If you're playing games that require a triggers a lot, like Forza Horizon 4, or a, or Minecraft, or something like that, there it's so much more comfortable to use um, over long periods of time. Um, it's, they've still got the same extension port and a headphone jack that the regular Xbox One controllers have. That all of them have had for a few years now. But, uh, yeah. This one is actually kind of. This one's actually bigger than the regular controllers. Than, I mean, than the, the newer controllers. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. But, um,. A little hard to tell on camera, but the good news is, I'm gonna try my best to show you. Wait, wrong way. Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's an easy way to to show it, but um, yeah. This top one actually looks kind of bigger. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks kind of pretty much bigger than this one. This one is this one feels so much lighter and smaller than this. This one feels so much bigger and slightly heavier. Although that might be the battery pack that's in here. Um, the new controllers got this USB-C port. Whereas the regular ones have 
a micro USB. Um, also, the, the bumpers are very. There's a small portion on the bumpers that have a that have a trigger. Not not have a trigger. They got textured just like the triggers. Very, it's hardly noticeable. But, uh, it's there. Also, I'm not sure what this, what these tiny, oh, this tiny hole right here is for. But it's on this one, too. So, yeah. The question of the day is, is it, if you already have one of these, is it worth it to get one of these? Also, funny fact, that's not really, um, required to show everyone to do it anyway. This area around here is kind of, most of the controller is flat, but then it kind of slants down right here up to the little slope. But around this area right here, it's just one piece. So yeah. Anyway, the question of the day is, is it, is this, is it, can you justify, wait no, one more thing before we get to the question of the day. This one, I don't know if it's just me, but these texture grip right here, it's there on this one, on this white one, but on this black one, it feels so, the tech, the grip is so much more pronounced, if that makes sense. You can feel that you can tell there's more grip on the newer ones. So yeah, now for the question of the day: If you got one of these, is it worth it to buy this? And in my opinion, worth it in this context is subjective, of course. Yes, yeah, some people might not care about the custom customization of their controllers, but. If you want to spend, if you want to show your, if you want to express your per, your de creativity, um, and Xbox Design Lab controller are my, are, are in my opinion, you, they can, sh this, sh this should be considered a form of art. But seriously, if you want to show your, show your, um, if you want to show your creativity and you don't want to spend the money to spray paint one of the if you, to buy this and spray paint a bunch um I would say go ahead I mean it's only 10 extra dollars the regular controller are 60 bucks this is only 10 dollars extra I mean not to mention you can also get a laser engraved plating here, which has a 16 character name on here, but you can hardly read it. So, in my opinion, that's not even, that doesn't even count, but it's there. So, yeah. Think about spending 10 extra dollars if you want to customize your controller. And, yeah. That's about it, all I gotta say. In my opinion, it's worth it. You should buy it if, in my opinion, everyone sh who, who's got creative talent should buy it, but, you know. It's up to you. I personally spent, a, spent like, four months, I don't know how long it was, but I spent a bunch of time using Microsoft Rewards to get this bad boy for free. It costed, like, 77 bucks, so yeah. That, that, that's including the tax. Thankfully, for, shipping was free. If it wasn't, I don't know what I would have done <laughs> if I had to pay seven extra dollars for shipping. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. The verdict has been, if you want to. <laughs> I'm silly, guys, I know. But anyway, it's been the man, the myth, the legend, your boy, the Minecraft name Luigi. Also known as Jedi Master Luigi. Also known as simply as Adam. This has been him. 
and I am signing off. And hopefully this file doesn't corrupt. Although if you're watching this, it's not. Anyway, take care. See you later. Bye.